So we got our strawberries. I think I counted like 20. Let's see. That's a, that's a big one. Look at that one. That one's big. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. These ones will turn into 14, 15, 16, 17. She got berries. They're going to turn into berries, yes. I think I counted 20 yes, strawberries. Yes, we're growing our own berries, huh? We need to get more. We need about, I don't know, three or four more of those. Mm -hmm. See this? It's going to be a tomato. This is going to be a tomato. Like a tomato. Yeah. yeah. Oh, be careful. Tomato, yeah. Oh, yeah, tomato. Oh, yeah, tomato. And that's a sweet pepper, isn't it? Yes. Mm. I need to put some. I need to put them in something. Look at Koopy. Uh-oh. This guy's coming in over here. Koopy. Okay, we don't use that kind of sand, okay? Only regular dirt. He says, what's in the thing? Are you doing a little gardening? Where's your what at? Yeah. Hey guys. So I had to go to the post office. I had to um, mail packages. I didn't have them ready. Push back there. I didn't have them ready for the mailman this morning just because um, it was late last night. I didn't have time to package it up, and he's been coming like super early. Um, sometimes before nine o'clock. So. I didn't know if he would, what I normally do is I package them up and then I'll put them out. Um, we have a tow on our front porch. I will put them out as soon as they're packaged up. Like it might be one, two o'clock in, <laughs> in the morning or at night or technically it'd be in the morning. But when I got done and I'd put them out there and then schedule the pickup and I wouldn't have to worry about it. A potato. <laughs> when we get old rotten potatoes, we just throw them out in the yard, and she found one. Mommy, mommy, what you got? Did you grow a potato? Journey, did you grow a potato? He ain't gonna eat that potato. Anyway, so um, I had to go mail these packages, and where's she going? Anyway, we checked our peel box. And I'll show you that in a few. Talk to me. Talk to me. But we're just outside enjoying the weather. It's actually pretty nice out. I put her in a coat because I thought it was chilly. But I'm just going to leave it on her for now. It's probably 60 degrees. That's what it says. So it feels warmer than that in the sun. But they're out here playing in the yard. And yeah, I'm gonna make, um, I think I'll do, I'm gonna, I have, I bought a big, huge five pound package of burger. What I tried to do is I try to um, plan ahead. As you guys know, I go grocery shopping every Tuesday, but I didn't go Tuesday this time. We went yesterday, which was Wednesday, because we had to get our taxes done. So I was like, if we're going to leave the house, um, I want to do it like, you know what I mean? I want to get it all done that way. You know, we don't have to go any, anywhere. Though I do want to get my chicken still. And that's from a farm. It's called Eggwell Farm. But I have to get a heat lamp from somewhere. So um, I think if we go to Tractor Supply, because I do also want to grab some like, um, where are you going? Careful with that stick, girl. Yippee. I also wanted to grab some different kinds of, um, here's a bee. Um, I was going to get some, like, black cow manure, 
or something that will help in the garden they're going to what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have um, Papa with a big tractor come and break it up and then try to get as many grass chunks you know what I mean out and then he's got a rototiller and then we're gonna come back in and rototill it up because it it has been several years since we had a garden so and everything's done grown over and it's all grassy now so um, and then when we do that, I'm going to kind of take some of that and like, put it back in with the, um, with the soil, with the dirt. And so I want to get like a couple, not a couple, probably like, I don't know. I don't know how many bags. Depends on how much it is. Or something. I know there's other things. Mean, there's other things I can use as fertilizer and stuff. And I'm sure Papa's got tons of it because if you don't know, Papa's a farmer. <laughs> he has a peach farm. But he's, he's also had like, oh, you scared the dickens out of me. His toes were by me. <laughs> he also has like, or he had cows. If you remember. Oh, uh, that's a part of your brother's fishing pole. Um, it was like not last year, but the year before, where we had to go out and hunt down his cows because his cows got out. You remember that? <laughs> but the past year, because you know, grandma was sick and um, he got rid of them. I think, did he get rid of them right before grandma passed away? I think he got rid of them in like in May and she passed away in July. But anyway. I don't know. So he just had, you know, it was a lot for him to go over and to make sure his cows were taken care of while he's taking care of grandma. So anyway, um, but we want to get our chicks and they're going to be building us a chicken coop. Papa is. Uh, Papa's built chicken coops before, so. Did he help um, do the rabbit thingy? No, Daddy built the rabbit hut. I want him to get a bigger one because that one's too small for him. Well, you're going to put him in with the chickens, I thought. Yeah. You know what? We, uh, I'd, wanna, we, I'd want to do is I'd want to like connect coopers with the chicken coop where they could have more space and if Cooper wanted to get away from them, he could go in there. Mm. All right, but anyway, so I need to figure out where we know basically. I think I'm just gonna put it here, um, where we had it last time. But my dreams of having it bigger is probably not gonna be. I told him I want it as big as I can possibly have it because I'd rather it be too big than too small, if that makes sense. Because you know, if you're gonna do it, I'm not gonna have you come back and be like, Oh, can you add me like three more feet to this garden? No. Yeah, but today, Papa's going to come over and Uncle Brian. I'm going to make meatloaf and getting back to the whole thing. I totally lost my track. So we went grocery shopping yesterday and I tried to get as much as I could so we can stay home and not have to... I was trying to make it where we don't have to go out next week and grocery shop because I do my grocery shopping weekly. But the problem is, is like I can't overbuy because I can't overpack our freezer or refrigerator because we don't have the room. This is where we need a deep freezer. I was actually looking at deep freezers because I thought about if we put one downstairs. I bought the big five pound tube of hamburger because that's all I had. And so I'm going to use that and make a meatloaf and I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of it because I want to either a cook it up because I thought about doing just a like a freezer um, like taco soup pack like you put everything you brown your burger and then you add all the stuff that you would normally add and stick it in um, a f uh, ziploc freezer and put it in the freezer and then when we want taco soup all I have to do is just pull that out and stick it in the crock pot if that makes sense and plus that will help um, 
Right now, our cabinet is like so full that we have stuff on the countertops because there's no room in the cabinet. That's 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 the problem we have. <laughs> when this my husband had this house built and when he had this house built, he was single. And so I guess you got the a single man's mentality as far as like like cabinet spacing and, you know, that kind of thing. So we don't have a lot of cabinet. I mean, I mean, I would like to redo our kitchen, but <sighs> that costs money. Wait until we get the house paid off in a couple years. So we're just outside enjoying the air. We got rabbits running around. I can't wait until we have chickens running around. So I'm going to work on that today. Get the meatloaf and do whatever I'm going to do with the rest of that burger. And then um, I think I'll wait. I'll wait until probably after dinner to start work. My plan is to work today. I don't know if I'm going to work tomorrow. I don't think I have to work tomorrow. But I still might. I don't know. Um, and then uh, Saturday, I'm thinking about working. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't. The next, after I get the last few orders on my list, I think there was five. Um, the next ones are due to ship out on Tuesday, which is, you know, the 7th. So, whatever I make after tonight will be um, ahead, that much ahead. I think there's just one that needs to ship out on Tuesday. So, if I do that over the weekend, it ships out on Monday. And then the next ship date, I'm, I'm ahead. I'm staying ahead. I actually bumped up my turnaround time, too. So, it would be like 12 days instead of 14 because I'm that far ahead. Um, I think I have like, now this is like how, how, I'm still getting like one or two orders. I think yesterday I got three orders, but I'm still getting like one or two orders a day. But normally I get, God bless you. Normally I have, usually have like 70 ish orders. Sometimes it goes down to 60 something, 70 something. Um, orders but right now I have 26 open orders so and if I tried really hard I bet you I could knock that out in like two days <laughs> hold your grandson no I don't want his stinky feet on me what is that something we need it's a leap of faith a step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave so take a look around you how far can you see how far do you think you can run hey guys so we got a package these guys just came in and took a bath, but we got a package from Miss Linda, and she writes books. So, she sent us some books that she wrote. So, let's see. It's going to be fun. So, that one's for Sterly. Saving Wild Thunder. And she said it's a book about a girl who really wants a horse. And then there's a book for Journey that she wrote. Let's see. No. What is it? Wow, she's really excited. Can you ah. Look. Here's you a book. It's called Red Feather. Sister can read it to you. Well, these guys are going to sit here and Stone's going to read her book. I want to get them horsey. Oh, this is fun. And tell her you're going to read Starlet Journey book. And I'm going to make them some lunch and start my meatloaf. Hey guys, Journey, no. 
She's always, you guys, always climbing, always climbing, always climbing, always. <laughs> you can sit next to your sister. She's doing school work. So I'm going to be making meatloaf and figuring out what I'm going to do with the rest of this. I never buy burger like this. I always buy fresh, like from the grocery store. But this is, you got to do what you got to do. And this is like all they had. Um, I probably should have bought like a couple of them and just did some like meal planning prep and stuff. But oh, we did get this in the mail. Oh my gosh. So we got this. I ordered this off Amazon. It was like $2.99. So it's a one quart um, water for the chicks. And so we've been watching a lot of videos and stuff on chicks. And like they say to take like little pebbles like out of your driveway and just stick them in there just so um, the chicks don't drown because sometimes they can get too far in there and drown. I'm gonna make up my meatloaf and get it ready. I probably won't put it in until probably about, oh, 4.30. That way it has time to cook and we'll probably do mashed potatoes and gravy with it. Green beans, not gravy, but yeah, gravy too, but. What is that? Pictures. Hey. Oh! I'm going to use this thing. I've never used it. I got this at uh, the Amazon return store for six bucks. I don't really quite know how to use it because I can't use this thing. This thing's supposed to be on like a certain way. It's got this little lip here. I don't know. I tried to put it in front over this thing, but it just don't. I wonder if this thing goes this way. Oh, maybe so. I don't know. We're going to try it. I never tried it before. And then, yeah. So first thing, I think I'm going to chop up some onion. Chopper. Get some basil from the garden. Some fresh basil. Yeah. Some tomatoes. I assume you gotta chop them up before you put them in there. Yeah. Can I? Do you put them all in? Let me work. Get. Let me flip it back. Slip it and reverse it. Do it. Do it.
This is a big meatloaf. That way we have lots of leftovers. So Papa and Uncle Brian, because every time I feed them, they go home with leftovers. So. So I just form it in my pan and I leave a spot all around it. Y'all ain't can't see me. There you go. So I form it in my pan and I just leave a spot all the way around for the grease. the more you pat it down the more it will like be formed into a loaf and if you find like if your meatloaf is not like very well put together like when it's done cooking um, if you next time you make it just add more eggs eggs basically are glue that kind of glues it all together there we go now I'm going to um, cover it up and put it in my fridge until I'm ready to bake it. I'm going to bake this at 350 and since it is a fairly large one, I'm going to do it for at least an hour to an hour and a half depending. I'll check it to see if it's done. Um, but yeah. jar um it'll keep pretty good until the next time i make meatloaf and need it for something but i'm spilling it all over the counter but anyway it'll store hey it'll store good as long as this is an airtight um container which i'm going to seal it up here with the lid and stuff so i use the rest of the burger and i cut up another bell pepper and a half of an onion this is going to be for some taco soup, or I can even use it for chili or something. Oh my gosh, you're stepping all over the place. Come here. Um, but I'm going to brown this all up together and then stick it in a Ziploc baggie and freeze it for a future dinner. I just didn't want the hamburger to go bad, and I didn't feel like um, putting it in another package and then freezing it, so I'm just going to cook it up now. That way that will be done. All I have to do is add like the cans of stuff and throw it in a crock pot and we'll have dinner one night. <laughs> Look at her covering up her head. She's scared, isn't she? Hey guys, so this is my meatloaf. It is done. I just cut it and I made mashed potatoes. I made green beans, which I forgot to turn off the stove. And then we just did some corn on the cob. So just waiting for them to come in. My head, my head is killing me. I got a headache. They did a good job. Johnny, ring my bell. Ring my bell. Those dogs might get like. I might, I might go buy a thirty-dollar membership for a month. How many times can you go? It's been Unlimited, I think, for thirty bucks, but you only get the twelve-dollar wash. Go every single so day. So I don't, I don't know what all it. Is. I mean, but if I'd have been by myself, I'd have probably used the vacuums. 
Had, had she not been there, I'd probably use the vacuum. Cause it, you know, it just scared. Where's Papa? They said he'd come up here on tractor a while ago. They did, but then they left. They said, I thought Stone was here and they left. I thought they were gonna cut up my garden. Yeah, me too. Where's 622? I says meatloaf. I didn't say nothing about a garden. What we got done? Food, water, and stuff. Yeah, I did. A little, very little bed. Oh, look at it. It's so good. 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 It's